Hello. Hello, testing one, two. Hello, can you hear me? Hope so. Welcome back, everybody, to the Blue Bike Indoor Channel. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna do a kind of a different moto vlog right now. It's uh, let's see what temperature it is. It is, well, it says 50 degrees. And I was just sitting in the sun, so, uh, huh. Because the high is not supposed to get up to like 41 today on uh, November 27th. Hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving. So yeah, my moto vlog today is going to be a little different. It's still so like 50 degrees. Yeah. Don't feel like it. Uh, anyway, I was going to do a little talking about uh, 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 cold weather riding and the gear and talk about my riding gear that I use to stay warm and uh so uh yeah let's do that so uh yeah the secret is to layer up you know pick a little about my gear so uh let's get back to the uh to the uh to the shed so we can finish it out and I can show you and explain to everything so uh yeah let's do that but anyway, so let the, uh, let's go, let's get into the, uh, gear stuff. Okay. So this is pretty much hair wear until it gets really, really cold. Then I'm going to switch to my, my, uh, full face helmet. It's a, uh, modular helmet. That, uh, like I still got to put the, put the hippie dude on it. But anyway, that's going to be my next little thing. I'm gonna got stuff ordered to put that on there, so uh, just to keep you a little bit warm. But anyway, I got the old noggin protector on and glasses. I saw the top. I saw, this is exactly what I wore at my bigger gloves when I went to flail. When I left 27 degrees. Never really got cold tip that first time I stopped, my fingertips was getting a little cool. I had my big gauntlet gloves on. So uh, anyway, let's just, uh, let me show you this. So let's uh, break it down and uh, put my gear out. So uh, yeah, let's do that. Wow, that was a little too hard to snap. Hold on, let me snap again. All right, <clears throat> sorry about that a little bit, trying to be funny. <clears throat> now I'm gonna be hoarse. Uh, so let's, uh, so you can see, let's get, turn the camera down this way. These are the gloves I bought off eBay, you remember? Those be a uh, touch screen. They might be all right, but the uh, touch screen don't work. So that was a fail. So anyway, basically I dressed in layers. So uh, let's start with the first layer is the underwear. <laughs> I'm not showing you that. Anyway, long underwear. <laughs> These are some Groovy, Grove, T O O V Y. I got them off eBay. And they uh, kind of bicycling pants, I think. But they, they're real thick. Lots of wind, pretty good. And like I said, these are the ones I wore oh, when I went to. Uh, I'm getting the frame here. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, yeah, I don't. So anyway, <clears throat> these are the ones I wore. I went, like I said, 27 degrees. The only thing got cold was my fingertips. Anyway, put those on and then I got this Under Armour, which is, I believe it is Under Armour, or starter, starter gear. And then it's a turtleneck, so the neck stays warm, long sleeve. It's a starter. And it's a, you know, base layer, so it keeps you pretty warm. Or it did me. And then a, a final shirt. And you don't have to go out and buy one of them uh, Dixon. Uh, sorry, no offense, Dixon. Daryl Dixon. But just a final shirt, long sleeve, something. 
you know, keep the warm in. Uh, also got a thicker Harley one, and uh, it's like a wool kind of. So uh, anyway, that's that. So uh, socks, dang it, the socks. Here's what I did. You know, you got <clears throat> some thick dickies wool socks or these uh, polyester or whatever thick wool socks is the two I like to wear and then uh, these freeze out here I put them over top of those and uh, actually work real good it's the only freeze out here I got thermal protections is these booties I also got a head thing somewhere I'll find it in a minute I don't like it. Uh, I got in, in my inner liner. But then you, after you put your long handles on, put your blue jeans on or whatever cover on the top layer, uh, the trick is also uh, go up a size. So if I, I usually wear a 36, so I go up to a 38 just to come, you know, put extra on your thickness of the underwear, under long handles, as we call them. And then the chaps are just regular chaps. Keep the brakes to win. Like I said, never wear it. legs and nothing got cold, so that's your chaps. And move it on up. Move it on up in the winter. Here's my Harley jacket. Like I said, uh, believe it or not, this is kind of thin compared to, I got a thicker one. But as long as it breaks the wind, holds the heat in, it works. So that's my little jacket. Moving on up to the top, <coughs> the salt, salt assault, salt assault, fleece line, face masking thing is what I wore, and it worked great. And let no wind through, so I wear it up to my ears, over my ears, and then I wear this freeze out bogging or beanie whatever you want to call it and it's actually got neoprene around the top because then i put it over my head keeps my right here warm and plus my ears and uh works great and then your gloves like i said i got the freeze out liners i wore these and my fingers still still get cold which you're losing your in the cold weather you you both tips and your toes is using the because it's pull, pulling the heat in like I know what I'm talking about and then my thick gloves and gauntlet gloves oh, yeah and uh, it's pretty good I don't work out in front but they got a little rain pouch in them keeps you getting wet then the regular this Harley boots leather Harley boots and uh, these are actually palm I guess that's when it was on sale going in the winter but the wind these ain't waterproof they water resistant a little bit but the uh, the wind goes right up in here but them socks them freezing the sock line they ain't that problem so I uh, need help getting up oh yeah let me show you that fruit bog so this is the uh, freeze out bottle of cover the old face city thing the reason why I don't like it, I'm sure it works great. Maybe. I, I wore it. And it's, it's warm. But my problem is the air hose on the side of your face will let wind go in. And I didn't like that part. So I just usually wear the uh, the beanie and the salt of salt. It seems to work. But like I said, this is probably for more of the, uh, to wear when you're wearing a full face helmet, probably. That way you can, uh, keep your face warm. It might work great because you got the longer thing. But like I said, that salt salt worked great. But like I said, when you pull this up, the wind would, like, go in. It just didn't seal real good. Yeah, I, I didn't like it. I was like a ninja. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this little moto vlog or cold weather, where, 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 <clears throat> cold.
cold weather gear. So, uh, uh, don't don't hide them during the winter time. Get out and try to ride some. Maybe you know when it warms up some. My my threshold is if it's thirty degrees in the morning, around right about that temperature, a little lot cooler. As long as it's gonna warm up to about a to about a forty. Like today would be good, but dang that wind blowing so bad, it just blows you. Just uh, and ain't no clouds in the sky, or nothing. So <clears throat> just I just got home this morning. So anyway. <clears throat> so, uh, y'all ride safe. We'll catch you next time. Hey, remember, remember, if you want to send me something, the description will be right up here. Catch you later.